Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And today what we're gonna do is be mixing some fun colors using this five color mixing set. So I'm glad you're back. Um, I have some new classes coming out in July and we'll get those posted on my website. I'll put the link for that. And those are full length classes and the theme is birds of character or character birds, however you wanna look at it. There's some really fun birds in this series. It's four weeks long and there'll be two recorded and two live. So if you like joining live streams, you can. But if you can't make the lives, don't worry. There'll be a recording afterwards that you'll have access for a few months to get your video done. So I'm looking forward to this. Let me just uh, jump out my colors. And again, this little set, I'll put a link in the description. These are Cobra brand water mixable. I really like them because they have a smooth buttery texture. I've got out some water and my palette knife and I'm just using the silver brand um, Bristol on brush. Um, oh, and I didn't put out the paper towel, of course. So I'm just grabbing my paper towel. Always need some paper towel. Okay, so today I'm gonna be mixing up some, some uh, colors like I'd like to show you how to make we could make some orange so let's get some primary yellow and a little bit of this primary magenta Woo. okay so number one thing when you're mixing color I just kind of made that number one mistake you want to mix in from the edge not just mix it right in like I did because one pigment can really overwhelm another so as you saw there, the magenta was so strong, it just kind of ate up that yellow and it turned into more of a red. But you can make all, so you've got this permanent magenta and primary yellow. You could make almost any, you know, shade of red, like a cad red that you wanted. And using this, you can make pretty much the cad yellows you want. So like a cad yellow deep, for example, is just some of that yellow and a little touch of the magenta this is like a cad yellow deep and this is like a cad red and you know so you can really mix up a lot of nice colors with the with with the yellow and the magenta so I'm also gonna show you some other um, things we can do now that we've made that pretty orange color you could take some of this blue for example the cayenne blue and you know mix it into this orange mix here and you'll make yourself a nice brown so there's how you get a nice brown color and that was just we mixed up the orange remember and then take a little cayenne and a little bit of this primary yellow and you get yourself a couple shades of brown just depending on how much you want a lighter brown, add more orange to it. So that gives you a few different browns. And then another thing you can do, another great color mix here, is take some primary magenta. And I'm gonna wipe, I'm gonna rinse my brush in between just so I get more control over the color mix. And I'm gonna get some of this uh, cayenne. And I'm gonna start mixing into my puddle from the edge. Notice I didn't go straight into the edge, into the middle, just from the edge in. So I've that makes a beautiful purple, like that. And the more magenta, the less blue, you get more of a pretty pinky purple. So it goes from dark light and I haven't mixed white into any of this you notice white and black have not been used so those are a few fun mixes you can use another one I want to do is some cayenne blue and some of this magenta and you'll notice it creates 
if you add more blue and less magenta, you get this kind of more bluey purple. I really, those are some of my favorite colors. Um, you can, if you take a little white and mix it into this puddle here, you'll get a really pretty bluey purple color, depending again if you want it on the more blue side. Um, just add more blue to the mix. If you want it to be a little more purple, just add a touch of this primary magenta and you're back to this really pretty purple color here. And I use a lot. I use a lot of these colors in shadows. In if you, if you're doing a landscape or something, it's just so pretty to use these instead of you know shades of brown. You can use shades of purple. And um, so another mix uh, to review the green mix. I'm just going to make a little bit of green here. We did the green. You can go and watch the green mix video. It's under the water mixable um, list I've got on YouTube. So you can go and watch a full video on greens. But this is one of the greens I like. It's this cayenne primary yellow. If you add a little white to it, you can get a real pretty really pretty um, green. So th those are some of the um, mixes you can get. You can see how five colors can give you everything, every color pretty much that you, you need. It takes a little bit of work, but from that you'll become a color mixing expert. And I love this pink that you can make with with the magenta. And if you add a little orange to it. Wow, look at that. Boom. So pretty. So I I hope that you enjoyed this little demo. Um, even if you feel like you're in a funk and you don't feel like painting a whole painting. Just doing this is therapeutic for me. Just sitting down and mixing some color. I really enjoy it. Um, it's like doing scales before you play the piano, play a whole song. This kind of gets you warmed up and loosened up sometimes and gets you wanting to paint a bigger and more, you know, detailed painting. So I've got some classes starting in July. Don't forget to check those out. They'll be up on my website soon. And I'll put a link to my website so you could also sign up for my email list on my website. That way whenever new classes come up you can check them out and see if it's for you or not. Well thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.